I put together this video to show the steps of how I'm making balloons. There are a lot of different ways to make balloons. These are the formers that I'm using. They're made out of several different materials. Some of them are made with a resin and some of them are made with a um, polyurethane resin. The first step is that you're going to dip them into a coagulant. The coagulant is what's going to make the latex come together on the mold and actually create the balloon. There are many kinds of coagulate that you can use. I'm using one that's made from chloride nitrate. It's heated to 60 degrees centigrade. You can see I have a little heater here. That seems to help it stick to the mold and dry. So you're just gonna hang it up, leave it for a bit. It doesn't have to be completely dry, but you also don't want it to be completely wet. So these have been hanging for a couple minutes, maybe five, and you can see that it's not quite as wet as it was. It's not completely dry either. Now the big step, digging it into the latex. I'm gonna do this very slowly. I'm gonna leave mine in for anywhere between 20 to 40 seconds. And then the trick is to pull it out very slowly and at constant rate of speed so that you don't get stripes and ribs and inconsistency in the thickness of the latex. So I'm new at this, so what I do is I dip mine twice. That sort of hides the flaws and the little pinholes, makes them a bit stronger. Some people don't like it because the latex gets a bit thick and maybe too strong, but for a beginner, I think it's the way to go. And you can see that I'm only dipping it for about 10 seconds on my second dip. I think if I left it in there too long, it really would get too thick. That's why I do it a little bit shorter time. You don't have to put your balloons into an oven or heat them. You can just let them dry naturally. This is after about four hours. This is about after six hours. You can see that the latex is quite dry. When it's clear like this, it means that it's dry. The next step is to get it off of the former. The first thing you're going to do is put some talc on it. This will keep it from sticking to itself. Really important to do this by the lip. And once you've done that, what you're going to do is just roll it off this. I only have one hand because I'm holding the, uh, the phone to take this, but it takes a little effort to get it off of the bulb, but you just roll it over. And then what you're going to do, and what I do is I'm going to put it in some warm water, about 70 degrees Celsius. This leaches out the coagulant and also sort of heat treats them a bit. And this is the results. Pretty nice. I'm really happy with this result. Nice crystal yellow. Also looks good just in a little clear.